President, please be seated. President, please be seated. The court is now in session. Today, the chamber will hear testimony of a witness that is through TCW 921 in relation to Phnom Krao Security Center. Ms. Sakalbuti, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals to today's proceedings. Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Mr. Nunji is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the Grafje. The witness who is to testify today, namely to TCW921, has confirmed that through his best knowledge, he has no relationship by blood or by law to any other two accused, that is Nunji and Kiyosun Porn, or through any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The witness took an oath before the Iron Club Stater this morning, and we also have a reserve witness today, that is through TCW 817. Thank you. President, thank you, Ms. Sakobuti. The Chamber now decides on the request by Nunjir. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nunjir. Dated 10 March 2016, which states that due to his health, headache, back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his right to be present at the 10 March 2016 hearing. Having seen the medical report of Noon Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC, Dated 10 March 2016, which notes that Nunji has a back pain and cannot sit for long, and recommends that the chamber so grant him his request so that he can follow proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 for the ECCC internal rules, the Chamber grants Nunji his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via an audio visual means. The Chamber instructs the AV unit personnel to lend the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunji can follow. That applies for the whole day. And court officer, please usher the witness into the courtroom.
Bonjour, quel est votre nom? Witness, my name is Chan Tau. Je me nomme Chan Tau. President, is your name Chan Tau? Chan Tau. And how do you spell your name? Comment appelez-vous votre nom? And please uh, observe the microphone, uh, Mr. Witness. You should speak only after you see the red light on the tip of the microphone. Witness, my name is spelled C H A N. Mon nom s'appelle C H A N. T A U Y. President, thank you, Mr. Chantoui. And uh, when were you born? President, je vous remercie, Monsieur Chantoui. Quelle est votre date de naissance? Answer. Réponse. I do not recall my date of birth. Je ne me souviens pas de ma date de naissance. Question. Question. How old are you this Quel year? Quel âge avez-vous cette année? And again, please observe the microphone and repeat your last response. Que le microphone soit allumé. Veuillez répéter votre dernière réponse. Answer: I am 56 years old. Réponse: J'ai 56 ans. Question: When were you born? Quelle est votre date de naissance? Answer: Réponse: I was born in Chimiet Village, Chimiet Commune. Le village de Chimiet, commune de Chimiet. Cornier District, Mondolkiri Province. Province de Mondolkiri. Question and where is your current address? Question et quelle est votre adresse actuelle? Answer. I am still living in Chimiet Village, no, in the commune, Cognac, Mundulkiri Province. Dans le même village, Question and Chimiet what is your Chimiet current Chimiet occupation? De Cognac, province de Mundulkiri. Et quelle est votre profession, demande le président. Answer, I am a soldier. Réponse, je suis soldat. Question, what are the names of your parents? Question, comment s'appellent vos parents? Answer, my father is Kain Chan. Mon père s'appelle Kain Chan. And my mother is Kam Pain. Et ma mère, Kam Pain. Question, what is your wife's name Question, and how many children do you have? Et combien d'enfants avez-vous? Answer, my wife Réponse. is Mong Pon. She passed away ma and femme est décédée, elle I have seven Mong children. President, thank you, Mr. Chan Tui. The Krafi made an oral report that, to your best knowledge, you are not related by blood or by law to any of the two accused, that is, no G and Kiss and Pawn, or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. Is that the report correct? Yes, exact. Answer. In relation to the report, I have nothing to do with the two accused. Question, have you taken an oath before the Iron Club said to, to the east of the chamber, before your appearance? Answer, yes, I have. President, the chamber wishes to inform you of your rights and obligations as a witness. Regarding your rights, Mr. Chan Tui, as a witness in the proceedings before the chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you. That is your right against self-incrimination. As for your obligations as a witness in the proceedings before the chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties except where your response or comment to those questions may incriminate you as the Chamber has just informed you of your right as a witness. And you must tell the truth that you have known, heard, seen, remembered, experienced, or observed directly 
about an event or occurrence relevant to the questions that a bench or parties pose to you. And Mr. Jantui, have you been interviewed by investigators of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges? If so, how many times, when and where? Answer. They came to interview me for one time at my home. Question, and when was that? Answer, it was in 1999. Question. And uh, were you interviewed for on another occasion around 2008? Were you interviewed by investigators during that year? And uh, yes, uh, I, I was interviewed uh, once. Question. So it means that you were interviewed twice. Uh, the first one was done in 1999, and the second one was in 2008. Is that correct? And uh, for the last interview, I cannot recall the, the date or the year. President, and before your appearance, have you read, reviewed, or have your written records of interviews uh, read to you so that uh, they will refresh your memory? And uh, I can recall parts of the written records of the interviews, and I cannot recall everything. President, so it means that you actually have read uh, the written records, but you cannot recall all the contents of those interviews. Is that so? Answer, yes. Question, and Question. after you read uh, the WRIs to Et your best uh, recollection, can you tell the chamber whether they the reflect si, vous, what you said uh, during les the previous interviews? Correspond à ce que vous avez dit au cours de vos entretiens. Answer, as I said, I Et recall only parts of the contents of the interviews since uh, it it happened several years ago. President, uh, that is all right. And pursuant to Rule 91B of the ECCC internal rules, the Chamber will hand the floor first to the co-prosecutors. And the combined time for the co-prosecutors and the lead co-lawyers is two sessions. You may proceed. Mr. Deputy Co-Prosecutor, good morning, Mr. President, good morning, Your Honours, and good morning, everyone in and around the courtroom. My name is Sein Liang, I am the National Deputy Co-Prosecutor of the Office of the Co-Prosecutors, and I have some questions to put to the witness. And my first question is in relation to your name, Mr. Witness. Can you tell the chamber clearly, is your name Chan Toi or Chan Toi? President, the witness does not need to respond to that. In fact, the witness already said his name during my initial question, that his name is, is Chan Toi. Deputy Co-Prosecutor, uh, Mr. President, in his uh, written record of interview, it stated that his name is Chantoui, alias Chantoui. 
President, President, I actually uh, read his identity card and I actually asked him to spell his name so the name is clear to everyone. Deputy Co-Prosecutor, that is fine then, Mr. President. And Mr. Chan Tui, can you uh, tell us your level of education? Answer. I studied during the uh, regime of uh, Samdai Sihanu and then the war broke and I quit schooling. Question and uh, what grade Question. did you attend? President, a witness, please observe the microphone. President, Monsieur le témoin, attendez que le micro soit allumé. Witness, I was in uh, grade 12 of the old education system. Question, I'd like to know a bit more about your uh, background. Question. And where did you live before 17 April 1975? And what did you do before that uh, date? Answer. I lived in Corneille district. Réponse, j'habitais dans le district de Corneille. Question, and what did you do at Question. that time? Et à cette époque-là, que faisiez-vous? Answer, uh, Réponse. what year was that? En quelle année? Question. Question. I refer to the period prior to 17 April 1975. Answer. Réponse. I lived with my parents during that time. J'habitais avec mes parents à cette époque. Question. In order to uh, refresh your uh, memory, I'd like to refer to your WRI, that is E3-7694 at Khmer 0023-67-05, and English is at 0024-21-0024. And French is at 0027-6802. The question you were asked about of what you did before the 17 April 1975, and you responded that you live in Timiat uh, village and commune in the province, and then there was a revolutionary movement, and that I went to the forest with Saran, who was a messenger who delivered from the upper echelon to various areas. That's what I read to you, Jock, your memory. Answer. Part of what you read out is uh, not correct. And could you please uh, repeat your questions? I have a hard hearing. Question. My question to you is in relation to what you did before 17 April 1975. Answer. As I said, I Réponse. lived with my parents at their home. Comme je dit, j'habitais avec mes parents chez eux. Question: Did you ever attend the revolutionary movement uh, at that time? Avez-vous participé au mouvement révolutionnaire à cette époque? Answer. I did not know those events uh, clearly because at that time I was still a young man. Question. Based on the accept of your statement, that is, at your interview uh, with uh, OCIJ, you stated that you were 
actually sent to the forest and became a messenger for Sandra. Is that correct? Dans le maquis et que vous êtes devenu messager and de Sandra. Est-ce que c'est exact? That happened Réponse. after 17 April 1975. That is when I was appointed as a messenger. À ce moment-là que j'ai été nommé messager. Question. However, in your written record of interview, you said uh, that happened prior to 17 April 1975. Answer. I apologize if I cannot recall the particular date or even I find it difficult to uh, try to recall what I did prior to 1975. Question. That is all right. And you just stated that uh, after 17 April 1975, you became a messenger for Sandra. Is that correct? Answer yes, that is correct. Question. And can you recall at that time what was uh, the name of the uh, sector that you lived in? Et vous souvenez-vous du secteur uh, au sein duquel vous viviez à cette époque-là? Previously, it was known as Mundulkiri province, and after 17 April 1975, it was known as Sector 105. Question. During the Khmer Rouge regime, can you tell the chamber what was the name of the sector committee? Le nom du comité de secteur, pourriez-vous le dire à la chambre? Answer. Réponse. Horn was Home the name. Était le nom. Question. Question. What about the uh, members of the sector committee? Do you recall the names? De secteur, vous souvenez -vous de leur nom? Answer. Réponse. I can recall the name of Holm and Kampun. They were uh, senior people in the area. Question. You mentioned uh, names Holm and Kampun, and I will ask you for the questions about these two names. Let me now focus on uh, Saufra. Who was he during the Democratic Amici regime, and what was his position that led you to become his messenger? Answer. The name is Sandra. He was a deputy chief of Kohnyai district, and I was his messenger. Question. And how long did you work as his messenger? Pendant combien de temps avez-vous travaillé en tant que messager de cette personne? I can recall that clearly since uh, there was an event of uh, the arrest, so I cannot recall the, the period that I worked as uh, his messenger. Question: While you de la de were Sandra's messenger, Question, what were your tasks? En quoi consistaient vos tâches? Answer. Réponse. He used me to wash clothes, uh, to cook food for him. Il uh, me demandait de cuisiner de la nourriture pour lui, de la vie And des vêtements. And to uh, deliver messages de or letters. Look, man, min pa sa tha kang yi. Question. Question. You uh, made mention that one of your uh, main tasks were to deliver uh, letters. And can you tell the chamber from which area to which area to deliver to those letters? Answer, I delivered uh, letters to the sector's office. Question. And... Do you recall Question. to whom that you delivered vous those vous letters at the sector's office? Ces lettres au bureau de secteur? Answer, I delivered the letters to Tahom. 
Réponse. Je remettais des lettres à ta home. Question. And do you recall the location of a Sector 105 office? Et vous souvenez-vous de l'emplacement du bureau du Sector 105? Answer. Yes, I recall that it was located at Phnom Kraul or Kraul Mountain. Soit la montagne de Kraul. Question. Question. And do you know the actual name of that office? Et connaissez-vous le nom exact de ce bureau? And so, yes, uh, it was at Phnom Kraul. Oui, c'était à Phnom Kraul. Question. There could be several offices uh, located at the Phnom Kraul. It could be KA or KB or KC, for example. And what was the actual uh, name of the sector's office? And so it it happened uh, many, many years ago. I can recall the designated names of that office. Question. Besides uh, Question. delivering letters to home at the Mais Sector 105 office, did you deliver letters to any security center? Est-ce que vous avez remis des lettres également dans des centres de sécurité? Answer no. Réponse I only non. deliver them to the Je sector's office. Je les lettres qu'au bureau de secteur. Question. Question. Thank you. And now I'd like to Je move on to uh, the two individuals, Home and Kampun, that you mentioned earlier. Can you recall any specific events involving these two individuals? Yes, I recall uh, some events in relation to them. Oui, je me souviens d'un événement les concernant. So, some look to it for a pee, but the can in the air, please, events related to home and Kampun. Cet événement concernant home et Kampun. Answer. Réponse. Hom was chief of a sector, sector, and Kampun was the people's uh, representative in le sector 105. Question. Question. During the time that Horn was in charge of that sector, Pendant did the two individuals have conflict with one another? Answer. Réponse. Later on, I learned that Hom and Kampun came Kampun to Phnom Penh. Était venu à, à Phnom Penh. And at Phnom Penh, I heard that uh, they exchanged a gunfire and died. Uh, I did not know at Et the time whether they mort. were sensed to be killed. After they came to Phnom Penh, I have exécuté. never heard of them. Je n'ai plus entendu parler d'eux après mon arrivée à Phnom Penh. Co-prosecutor, you stated that Hom and Kampun uh, fought each other and died in Phnom Penh. So where did you learn this information from? D'où avez-vous, aviez-vous appris cette information? Answer, to my recollection. Réponse. They had their own messengers, and later on, their messengers returned to the sector, and I learned that from messengers, and those messengers uh, previously were called protection security guards. Question. Were home or messengers, uh, or home or Kampun messengers uh, the one who told you about that? Vous l'ont-ils euh, appris Answer. Both of them told me. Réponse. Oui. Tous les deux, ils me l'ont appris. 
question. After they died or they disappeared in Phnom Penh, what uh, was going on in sector 105? Answer to some of my recollection. Réponse, d'après mes souvenirs. After the two individuals disappeared. Après la disparition de ces deux personnes. And there was chaos. Le chaos in régnait. That sector that is Dans ce my secteur. recollection. C'est ce dont je m'en souviens. Question. You stated Question. that after the two individuals disappeared, there was a chaos in the sector. Dans le secteur après la disparition des deux personnes. Before that event, did you ever see Avant the arrests événement. of people in your sector? Aviez-vous jamais assisté à l'arrestation de personnes dans votre secteur Answer, yes. Réponse. Oui. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Winners. I will ask you some further questions about the arrests of Je those people prior to that event. Je vais poser d'autres questions sur l'arrestation de ces personnes you avant le dit événement. You stated that after Home and Kanpu disappeared or were arrested, so there was a chaos de in the sector. So could you expand a little bit further about that chaos? Notamment le chaos. President, le please président. hold on, Mr. Winner. Copa, you have the floor moment, now. Monsieur le témoin, Mr. Copa, vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Merci, Mr. President. Um, Bonjour, Mr. Honorable Juge. That was put to the witness uh, implies that posée au témoin. Um, Harm or implique que Hom ou Kampoum ont été soit arrêtés ou avaient disparu. Mais je m'en souviens que le témoin a dit que Hom avait été tué par Kampoum. Il faudrait donc une exactitude des faits. Je ne pense pas que le témoin parle de l'arrestation, encore moins de la disparition de ces deux personnes. Co-prosecutor, I would like to respond. J'aimerais répondre. A little bit earlier, the winner said that the two individuals went to Phnom Penh, and the winner says that he did not know whether the two individuals exchanged gunfire and died later on, or they disappeared. So it is not clear from the witness, so I cannot put a specific question whether the two individuals had killed themselves or disappeared. So I can only put a general question. I cannot uh, give any interpretation beyond the answer of the witness. I, I like him some co-prosecutor. Now I would like to resume my questioning, Mr. Winners. J'aimerais reprendre mon interrogatoire, Monsieur le témoin. After the event in relation to the individuals, après l'événement concernant ces deux personnes, were you uh, arrested at that time afterward? Aviez-vous été arrêté par la suite à cette époque-là? Answer. Réponse. I at that time was arrested together with others. Époque, uh, to my recollection, d'après mes souvenirs, network of uh, Tahon arrested the members on the link of uh, Ta Kampun. This is Kampoun. my recollection from that time. C'est ce dont je me souviens des faits de l'époque. Question. Question. After the home and Kampun were absent in sector 105, who Après came to replace the home and the Kampun? Do you recall that? Vous Answer. I can recall some events. Star Sarun at the time came to replace. Que Sarun à l'époque était venu les remplacer. Question. Question. Was Tazarun 
related to the home, home and the compound. Avec les liens parentés avec the compound et the home. The Sarun was related to Sarun. the home. Avec les liens de parenté avec and the home. And the Sarun at that time arrested ta those who were linked époque, to the compound. Arrêtait tous ceux qui étaient en relation avec the compound, qui avaient un lien avec the compound. Question. Did you know another individual by the name Pan or Pan Kun? Appelez Pan ou Pan Kun. Answer. Yes. Oui. What was the position of Pan Kun, and how was he related to Hom and Kampun? Quel est le lien qui l'unissait à Hom et Kampun? Answer. Réponse. Pan Kun was brother-in-law of Hom. Ta Kun était le frère, le beau-frère, pardon, de Hom. Were were Hom and Kam Poon related Hom. to one another? Et Kam Poon avait-il des liens parentés? Answer. Réponse. They were in-laws, to my recollection. Ils avaient. Euh, ils étaient beaux-frères. D'après ce que je m'en souviens. So, they were related by blood or in-law, as you said. Ils A while ago, you stated that those who were linked ils to the home dites, came to arrest the members related to uh, Kampun. Is that correct? What I summarized. Answer to my recollection, si it is correct. Réponse, est exact, Question. Question. To the best of knowledge, how many people were arrested at that time? Answer. I was arrested Réponse. together with other. J'ai été arrêté en compagnie d'autres. More than 80 of us had been arrested. Nous étions plus de 80 personnes à être arrêtées. Question. What was Question. your relation to Kampun that led to the arrest of you? Quel lien entreteniez-vous avec Kampun qui a conduit à votre Answer. arrestation? I was Réponse. the messenger of Ra. Ra was the nephew of Kampun. Ra était le neveu de Kampun et j'étais son messager. Question. What about your wife? Question. Qu'en est-il de votre épouse? Was she related by blood to Kampun? Avait-elle des liens de sang avec Kampun? Interpreter could not hear the answer from the witness. L'interprète n'a pas suivi la question. We have an interpretation problem. L'interprète n'a pas suivi la réponse du témoin. Apparently, the translator couldn't understand the interpreter couldn't understand the answer. N'a pas pu suivre la réponse du témoin. Repeat it. Monsieur le témoin, veuillez reprendre votre question, votre réponse. Le prosecuteur, a while ago, I asked you whether your wife was related by blood to Kampun. Could you give your answer once again? Avec Kampun, veuillez nous redonner votre réponse. Answer. Réponse. My my wife was related. Mon épouse. Was relative in a was the distant relative. Était une, une parente éloignée. Co-prosecutor. Co-procureur. Could you clarify this point for the court? During the arrests. Pour les besoins de la chambre. Beside Ra and Pam Poon, there were others arrested. D'autres personnes ont été arrêtées. Answer. 
To the best of my knowledge, uh, those people had been arrested réponse. first, and then it en was my time. Ces personnes ont d'abord été arrêtées, ensuite est venu mon tour. So Ra and Pam Kuhn had been arrested Ra first, and then uh, they arrêtés. arrested you. Is that correct? Ensuite, vous avez été arrêté. Est-ce exact? The interpreter did not hear the answer from the witness. We have the same problem. We have the same problem again. Nous avons le même problème, le juge. La question est de l'interprète. Est-ce que ça va trop vite ou quel est le problème Alors, question pour les interprètes. Est-ce le débit ou y a-t-il un autre problème Your Honor, if I could, I just saw the witness nod his head, so I think that's why the interpreter did not get the answer. J'ai vu le témoin hocher de la tête. C'est peut-être pour cela que l'interprète n'a pas entendu. We, we record, we record Dans ce cas, Monsieur le so témoin, votre déposition head, est recueillie, enregistrée. Donc Please si vous hochez de la tête, cela ne constitue pas une réponse yes, no. qui peut être consignée au procès verbal. Donc veuillez articuler votre réponse. Uh, so no uh... Co -prosecute. Le co-procureur, which leaders had been arrested during the time that uh, you were arrested as well later on. So could you specify the answer once again for the court? Votre arrestation qui était intervenue par la suite. Vous voulez clarifier ce point pour la Chambre. Réponse. À ma connaissance, les leaders dans le haut de l'arrière disappeared and later on subordinates or people below them were also arrested. Over Ra and Pam Poon were arrested or detained at the time. Ra et Pam Poon avaient-ils été arrêtés ou détenus à l'époque? Answer, I told you already to the best of my knowledge and to my recollection those people had been arrested and then I was arrested later on. Et par la suite, Mon arrestation est intervenue. After you were detained or arrested, where were you placed? Après votre détention ou votre arrestation, où aviez-vous où aviez-vous été placé? Answer: I was placed in Phnom Krawl or Krawl Mountain. À Phnom Krawl ou montagne de Krawl. Co-prosecutor, could you tell the court? about the location where you were placed, particularly in relation to the building. What was the building like? Could you give a description of the building to the court? Du bâtiment à la chambre. Answer. In relation to Réponse. the building, en ce qui concerne le bâtiment. there were two stories. It was two-story building. C'était un bâtiment à deux étages. And uh, there was a uh, large space or open space Il y avait un grand under the ouvert first floor. Au premier étage. Question: Was that location Question. a prison compound? Ce lieu or what une was prison? that uh, place actually used for? À quelle fin servait ce bâtiment? Answer: It was not. The prison. It was the sector's office. C'était le bureau du secteur. The building was the concrete one. Et le bâtiment était en dur. Question. So it was not the question. Question. It was in fact the sector's office, and it was used to detain and hold some people who had been arrested. Pour détenir certaines personnes qui avaient été arrêtées. Est-ce exact? Answer. That is correct. Réponse, c'est exact. Question. Question. Inside the building. À l'intérieur du bâtiment. How many people were detained? Combien de personnes étaient-elles détenues? Answer. Réponse. To the best of my recollection, more than eight people were detained within the building. Détenues à l'intérieur du bâtiment. Question. Among the detainees. Were there women and children? Y avait-il des femmes et des enfants? Answer: Yes. Réponse: Oui. There were both women and children detained. Il y avait tant les femmes que les enfants. Members of family who were related to those who 
had uh, trouble before were arrested. Yeah, the person, uh, what about Ra and Pam Kuhn? The person were they qui était detained in the same place as été, you uh, at the time? Est-ce que uh, Ram et Kampun étaient détenus au même endroit que vous à l'époque? I did not see them at that time. Réponse, je ne les avais pas vus à cette époque-là. Question, you said it you stated that uh, it was a two-story building and you were detained in, on the ground in the first floor. So what about the second floor? Were people detained on the second floor? And after uh, I was arrested, I did not have the right to look around and to go inside the second floor. Uh, and who were there étage, within the second floor le and who étage. were sent to be uh, killed. So I did not bother uh, être, uh, looking around and searching for information. Donc, Question, how long were you detained at that place? Pour, uh, chercher des informations. Question, combien de temps avez-vous été détenu à cet endroit? I was detained there for Réponse. a period of one month. J'ai été détenu pendant un mois. Question regarding that Question. prison. Were the detainees shackled or tied up? Could you tell the court about that? Ligoté. Pouvez-vous en dire plus à la chambre? Answer. Those who had Réponse. been arrested were tied up. Only les children were not in string. Seuls les enfants n'était pas attaché. Question. What about food ration? How many meals per day were you given? Was food sufficient for you to eat? Était-elle suffisante pour vous? Answer. I would like to clarify the Réponse. point of four people. We had a bowl of rice uh, with uh, pumpkin, and uh, we did not have uh, enough food to eat while we were detained. What about hygiene? Were there insects uh, within the building disturbing detainees? Answer to my recollection. Réponse. Detainees uh, were tied up and we were living in bad conditions. Conditions. Co-prosecutor, I want to ask about the hygiene and sanitation. Was it clean enough for detainees inside the building? Answer. À there was du no bâtiment. hygiene at all. Réponse, il avait pas du tout. Question. You stated a bit earlier that uh, Question, male detainees were tied up. What about the time when you need to ligoté. go to the restroom and relieve yourself? So what uh, did you do at the time when you want to visit the restroom? De faire vos besoins ou aux toilettes? Answer. Réponse. We called the security guard, and Nous then they, the security guard, would uh, accompany us to the restroom. Question: During the time that you Question. were detained there for one month, did you see uh, detainees fall sick at the time? Answer: From what I saw, Réponse. the Detainees had skin diseases. Les détenus avaient des maladies euh, dermatologiques. Question: Were they provided with uh, medicines Question. to treat those kind of diseases? Recevaient-ils euh, des médicaments, des soins pour traiter ce type Answer, de maladie? No, no medication non, for us. Pas, nous n'avions pas de médicaments pour Question. ces maladies cutanées. Did any one of the detainees die because of the diseases and starvation while they were detained? Mort de maladie ou de faim au cours de leur détention? Answer. During that one month, uh, no one died from the diseases or starvation. Co-prosecutor.
I want to know about the interrogation during one month detention there. J'aimerais parler des interrogatoires. Were you ever interrogated? Pendant le mois où vous étiez détenu, avez-vous été soumis à un interrogatoire? Answer. I was not interrogated, but they said that uh, we were all traitors. Mais on, on nous traitait tous de traîtres. Co-prosecutor, in a rec written record of an interview, E3 slash 7694, Ion Inkmai 00 en français. 00 27 67 68 03 There isn't a question in relation to interrogation whether you were tortured and you stated that there was no torture at the time in Plitik or Detainee but uh, we were threatened and I Mais was accused that uh, I had been working with uh, Sandra. Why I did not know about what uh, was what the task and what was going on with uh, Sandra. So, do you recall that presentation Alors from interpreter? Je n'étais pas au courant de l'histoire de mes supérieurs. Avez-vous dit Answer. aux enquêteurs? I do not recall it well. I réponse. do not know that um, the statement that I gave uh, the previous day bien. was recorded in the, the document. Je ne savais pas que euh, mes déclarations ont été consignées dans un procès to de détention. Of, uh, le procès en ce qui concerne l'exécution des détenus ou des prisonniers. Were detainees sent to be killed? Les détenus étaient-ils envoyés pour être exécutés? Answer. Those who were detained with réponse. me on the ground floor were not sent to be killed. Ceux qui étaient détenus avec moi au rez-de-chaussée n'étaient pas envoyé pour être exécuté. Question. Among Question. Your, among the people who had been detained together with you on the ground floor were not sent to be killed. Vous dites que les détenus qui étaient avec vous au de chaussée n'avaient pas été envoyés pour être exécutés. Now I am asking about your detention. After you had been arrested and detained, après votre arrestation, were you provided the right to counsel when you were detained? Aviez-vous le droit? Answer. Aviez-vous le droit à un avocat? My recollection, I had no lawyer at that time. I had no lawyer representing uh, me at the time, so they arrested me arbitrarily. Ils m'ont uh, arrêté de façon Co arbitraire. At the time, were there uh, judicial officers, courts, or lawyers y uh, provided to you or adjudicating des, your case? Des avocats, des juges qui devait trancher no. votre cas, I votre did affaire. Not, uh, enjoy such latitude. I did not have lawyers and there was no non, court. réponse, il n'y avait pas de tribunaux et je n'avais pas droit à un avocat. Je have pas another another tel luxe. question in relation to the time when you were detained. Une autre question qui a trait were you together au with de other detainees assigned to do some tasks? Étiez-vous assigné à des tâches vous et les autres détenus? Answer to my recollection. Réponse. Security guards. D'après mes souvenirs. The security guards uh, uh, sent the jute seats for us to beat. Les portes de sécurité nous envoyaient battre des graines de jute. I have another While you were beating jute seats. What kind of tools Question. did you Quel have, and what was the what were the working hours? Au moment, pendant que vous deviez battre les grains de jute, et quelles étaient vos heures de travail? Answer. They gave us the jute seats. 
réponse. And, uh, we et nous donner les graines de chute, les graines de chute. Et nous devions les piétiner uh, uh, pendant que nos mains étaient ligotées. Co-prosecutor, from what you said, you stomped on the two seats and they did not provide you with tools. Is chute. that correct? Et vous n'aviez pas d'outils. Est-ce exact? Answer, that is correct. Réponse, c'est exact. Question, what time Question. did you start work? À quelle heure commencez-vous le travail? Answer, We worked for a period of one hour or two hours, and then we uh, stopped for prosecutor. Uh, because of time, Mr. President, I would like to seek the floor for my international colleagues to put for the questions. Mon collègue de la partie internationale pour poser des questions aux témoins en raison du temps qui nous est imparti. Morning, Mr. Witness, sir. You said Bonjour, that Thémoin. you were arrested. Vous Do you recall when it was? Uh, even the Vous year that you were arrested. De la date, voire de l'année de votre arrestation. From my recollection, uh, that happened in 1977. C'était en 1977. Thank you. Do you recall the month? Vous souvenez-vous du mois? It was probably in November. C'était probablement au mois de novembre. Because I did not have anything to uh, take note of that. Parce que je n'avais rien pour Who was it that arrested you? Question: Qui vous a arrêté? Cam and Sut were the one Cam who drove to pick us up. Were they? Were they some members of some kind of security force? Can you explain? Question: Est-ce que c'était des membres d'un type quelconque de force de sécurité? Pourriez-vous nous l'expliquer? They were part of the security force. Il faisait partie des forces de sécurité. For the district, Question for the sector, du do district, you know? Du, dis, du secteur, le savez-vous? There was no security force at the district. There was only one at the sector. Okay, thank you. Did you ever learn who ordered your arrest? I did not know who issued uh, the order for the arrest. However, through my knowledge, after some senior people disappeared or arrested, including Kampun and Ra, we, who were their subordinates, were arrested. In addition to you being arrested, were any members of your family arrested? Yes, all the members of my family was arrested, including my siblings and my mother. At that time, uh, were you married? Yes. Did you have any children? No. You, you told us this morning you were 56, so in 1977, if my math is right, that was 39 years ago, you would have been about 17 years old. Does that sound right? I got married when I was uh, pretty young. 
je me suis marié très jeune. So, do you think you could have been about 17? Il est possible que vous ayez bel et bien eu 17 ans. I think, Mr. President, the math of the international purpose doesn't seem to add up. If my math is correct, if he was born on the 17th of May of 56, then he must have been 21 rather than 17 in 57. I think the difference is that the witness said this morning that he was 56 years old, which would not make him born in 56, but born in 59 or 60. So that's what I heard, was that the witness said he was 56 years old. True, but his WRI says 17, he was born on 17 May 1976. It's not very terribly important. But the problem is that it's not what was written in his verbal petition. Fine, I'll move on. Ce n'est pas très important. Très bien, je peux passer à la suite. Président. In international call, prosecutor, do you may try to get the witness to respond to uh, your question whether he actually provided the actual date of birth to the OCIJ investigators. So we try to find which one is the correct date of birth before you move on to another subject. Certainly. So, Mr. Witness, perhaps you can help us. We have a record of your interview. In 2008, you were interviewed, if you recall, at the Ratanakiri provincial town, in Ratanakiri provincial town. And in that interview, they indicate that you gave them a date of birth of uh, 17 May 1956. Is that your date of birth, or are you 56 years old today, or were you born in 56? Do you know? I did not know my age uh, exactly, but uh, that was what my mother told me. Okay, thank you. What happened to your wife when you were arrested? When I was uh, arrested, my wife was uh, arrested along as well, and at that time, we had uh, no hope of uh, surviving. Why is that that you felt so hopeless? What had you seen that made you feel so hopeless when you were arrested? During the purport regime, usually when people were arrested, none survived. And that's how we felt. We felt that after our arrest, we would be dead. Now, you indicated that your own relative was arrested and that many people were arrested, if I understood you correctly, because they were related in some way to Kampan. Is that correct? Is that correct? Bah. Yes. Why was it that in the regime people were, or why was it on this occasion, that people were arrested just because they were related to someone else? Can you explain that? But, um, to my knowledge, during the uh, Pope regime, when the father was arrested, his wife, his children, and his parents would also be arrested. Now, in the uh, location where you were being detained, you said you were tied. Can you explain to us how you were tied? Were you just tied your hands together? Were you tied to something else? Um, 
Bata. They use a string to tie us up and to attach us to a, a row of a chair. And actually, during uh, the night time, our feet were so tight. But during the daytime, our feet were untied so that we could storm the uh, two seats. You indicated the children were not tied. Were the children allowed to move around where you could speak to them? Were you allowed to speak to them? The children lived also in the building, and when they needed to relieve themselves, they would answer the guard, and the guard would uh, let them out, but they were not tied. Were you ever Question. able to speak to the children or to the guards? We did not dare to or we did not have a right to speak to the guard. As for the children, we could. Did you ever learn who was being held upstairs, not in your room, but in the other room? I did not know who were detained on the upper floor. Je ne sais pas qui était détenu à l'étage supérieur. Did you see anyone being removed? Question, avez-vous vu que uh, l'on emmenait quelqu'un the, the night when you were there? Nuit, tandis que vous People étiez là-bas. Est-ce que vous avez vu que l'on emmenait des personnes pendant la nuit? Personally, I did not see that. Personnellement, je n'ai pas assisté à cela. Did anybody Question. disappear? Quelqu'un a-t-il disparu that was in your room. parmi les personnes qui étaient dans votre salle None of the detainees in my room disappeared. Mr. Witness, uh, I'd just like to read you something from your interview with the investigators in 2008. And in French, it's 00276804. In English, 00242144. In Khmer, 00236706. He asked you, do you know if any of the other prisoners were taken and killed? And they recorded you as saying twice. I saw prisoners taken to be killed. The first night there were five of them, and the second night there were three. They asked where were they taken to be killed, and you answered, as far as I know, they probably killed them not far behind Phnom Krol. Those eight were the direct siblings and nephews of Ta Kampong. As for the siblings of Ta Ham, Ta Hom, they were not arrested or killed. Do you recall telling the investigators that? Does that re remind you of what you told them? I cannot recall exactly what I said uh, during uh, my interview with the investigator. And at the time, children were not tied, and they uh, ran around in the office, and people were uh, taken out at that time, though I cannot recall the exact number of those people. And it is my personal conclusion when those people were taken out, it means that they were taken out and killed. And do you recall that among those taken out were the direct siblings and nephews of Ta Kampong? Ma tam bat khluon rohot do la lau nung ko mien do kon 
the most of the Campos relatives la plupart disappeared des since. membres de la famille de Campos ont disparu depuis. Does anyone want to take a break now? Is this the appropriate time? L'accusation. Le moment est peut-être bien choisi pour la pause. President, it is now convenient for a short break. Le moment est venu d'observer une courte and pause et nous allons que nous reprendrons à 10h30. And the chamber wishes to inform la chambre the uh, parties that after we return, we uh, listen to the uh, Nunchi request nous à notre for a document that the original of it was in German est en and that they want to use that document to uh, put question to the expert to TCE88. And court officer, please assist the witness during the break time and invite him back into the uh, courtroom later after, after I uh, give you instruction. The court is now in recess.